Hey, this is Dr. Gangreen, physician of fright, horror host from the Nashville, Tennessee area, coming back to you again with another recommended movie of the week. And this week, we've got a little fishy tale, because I'm uh, kind of been in the mood for some fish sticks, and that's exactly what we got here. Boy, that was corny. Anyway, that's what we got. Tonight's movie is Piranha. 1978 Joe Dante classic you know Joe Dante right the guy that directed the howling and gremlins he's done a lot of great stuff Joe Dante is a really fun director and this is a really fun movie because you get to see a lot of teenagers eaten alive the flesh stripped off their this movie would it would not be made in today's day and time at least not the way it was here because you're just not going to get to see campers attacked by uh, piranha like that so uh, let's take a look at a, a snippet from this will we Lost River, take 32. And action. Lost River is lost no more. Yes, friends, you can be part of a modern ecological miracle. Acres and acres of reclaimed land nestled in a scenic mountain valley, site of the newly formed Lost River Lake. You'll find swimming, sailing, snorkeling. There's something strange in the water at Lost River Lake. Something you can't see, something you can't feel until it's too late. Started in a Texas pond. Barbara! Or is there something in here? David! Oh, oh. David! Well, it's still watch. It's the quickest way to know if they're down there or not. What are you doing? You trained the pond? Yes, we saw You let them out? They were unleashed into America's waterways to churn quiet streams into rivers of living death. Keep your hand out of the water. Ow! What's wrong with the water? Dad! Stay back! Dad! Stay back! The water was carnivorous fish. Piranha, the deadliest man-eaters of all. In schools of hundreds, they attack and devour anything that moves with razor-sharp teeth that can strip a man to the bone in less than a minute. There'll be no way to contain them. They'll be able to swim up every river system in the country. There's a school of piranha heading straight downstream towards your resort. They'll kill us. All of us. Science fiction. They're eating the guests, sir. They're here, and they're hungry. Piranha. You know, there's a funny story. Now, I'm not 100% sure I got this right, but you know what? I've never let the facts stand in the way before, so we're going to say it anyway. But the way I understand it is that, uh, uh, you know, after Joe Dante and the fellas made this movie that Spielberg thought that it resembled Jaws a little too much, and they actually sued them, which is kind of funny because they w wind up later working on another motion picture together. What was that, Cameron? Twilight Zone the movie. Twilight Zone the movie, that's right. So they wind up working on Twilight Zone the movie together later, years later, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, I actually got to show Piranha on my TV show there, the WB58 Creature Feature with Dr. Gangrene. But unfortunately, it wasn't this version. It was the remake. But I was just glad to show some uh, cannibalistic fish. I guess it's not cannibals if you're eating humans. Anyway, flesh-eating fish on the uh, scareways of Middle Tennessee. So anyway, this is Dr. Gangrene. If you enjoyed this, be sure and click that subscribe button up there and uh, up there, wherever it's at. And uh, join it and you'll see us every you get to know whenever we put a new one of these up and to find out more information about us Be sure and join us on the web at www.drgangreen.com. See you later